It's Monday, my friends. Casual Duelist here, hoping that you guys had a great weekend. And, of course, I wanted to start today off with, you know, well, start this week off with two different videos. One, I got a uh, deck master that we're about to jump into. And for those of you who like a little non-Yu-Gi-Oh, um, I do have another magic deck. And uh, Celestial gave me the best idea. She said, I have too many elf decks. So let's start featuring some elves in honor of Christmas. And I guess these are the ones that are going to come after you if you're on the naughty list. So if you're into that, you know, a little bit later in the day, that'll be on. If you're not, maybe check it out. You might you might find out that you do enjoy it. And if not, hey, you don't need to worry about watching it either. Um, so real quick, I wanted to get back into Deck Masters. And this week I wanted one that's actually really fair. And again, probably not one that you're going to play to the field. So I wanted to talk about the Elder Entity Intis. Now, things that you need to know about Elder Entity Intis. Uh, Four-star light fairy fusion with an effect. Um, is actually a viable card if you were going to use this as far as a fusion trap right now. Um, you could super poly. What this is going to do is it's going to combine one f uh, synchro with an Xyz in order to take that and build this character. Um, this card must be special summoned from the extra deck by sending the above cards you control to the graveyard. So I guess you can't do that because in, I, I misread and just didn't think about that. Um, once per turn, this is the effect we actually want, you can special summon a level 4 monster card from your hand. And again, that's just perfect. That right there is a very fair effect. Um, that's not going to over-centralize literally anything. So if you guys wanted to, you guys could play this. It would be fine. Um, the rest of the effect, and again, you're not going to do this. If it is sent to the graveyard, target one card on the field, destroy it. You can only special summon an Elder Entity Intis once per turn. Now, just real quick, as a deck master, very similar to like Magic's Commanders, uh, we can put this on the field, so that's fine. Additionally, you probably don't want to put it on the field because if it does die, it will get uh, you KO'd. Uh, that will be an instant game loss if this goes from field to discard pile. Um, that said, I'm not sure. Again, this is another one of those goofy rulings. Like, if uh, like you can pulse their card back to their hand, do we get to reset everything that they were doing? Maybe, no, possibly. Um, it could be a thing. But, additionally, like this is where it gets a little weird. Um, if... They do this, and our opponent has uh, their deck master boarded as well. Can we force a draw by doing this? We might. Um, give me half a second. Let me grab my phone, and I'll get you guys the pricing model on this card. Now, this card has had three print runs. Um, this one right here is from the uh, the Maximum Gold. Uh, so this is, I believe, the Eldorado set. And again, that's why it's got the mac and cheese. Um, there was also, actually, sorry, let me just flip to this. I don't know why that's all fuzzy. Uh, there's the premium gold. We're looking at less than a dollar to mm, just under $2 for a copy. Um, you have this super rare from the Megatons. I think this is the one I actually have the most copies of. Uh, 64 cents again to just under a dollar this time. And, uh, the newest Magnificent Mavens. Of course, this will have the most up-to-date text. Uh, it is an ultra rare. Again, I love ultra rares. Uh, and again, uh, just about 50 cents to just under a dollar. So three printings, great card. And uh, guys, if you were looking to play this in a, you know, just like a generic format, um, anything that sends this from uh, anywhere to the discard pile is actually going to trigger the effect. So one of my favorite things to do with this was, um, I want to say the card was Dogmatic of Punishment. It allows you to target an opponent's monster, whatever. Uh, send from your extra deck a monster that's face down. This way you're not sending pendulums. Um, you send the face down monster to the discard pile from the extra deck uh, to destroy uh, the monster that is equal to or less than the attack value of the sent card. And in this case, because you did do this, then you get to do an additional targeted card on the field and destroy it. Um, again, you can't activate any monsters or like summon from your extra deck the turns that you use that punishment trap. But it is a total way to just go ahead and use this card. And again, most of it's going to be under dollars. So like, uh, if you guys had five bucks, that's probably going to be your shipping, your handling. That's going to be a play set for you to play with and an additional to throw to the side for your deck master. Uh, and it's just going to be fantastic. So um, that's about it for today's. Uh, we're going to go ahead and induct this into our little deck box of shame or hall of fame for it. However you guys choose to see that. 
And uh, I will be back in a couple of hours with a Magic the Gathering deck because, you know, it's Monday. Why not? Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe do the things, you know, a little like, a little comment, possible subscription, or just have the wonderful day that I always want you guys to have. Either way, I hope to see you guys again next time. Peace out.